Hello, Acadiana. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with the investigation into Youngsville City Police Chief Ricky Boudreaux. In an exclusive interview, Boudreaux tells us he will fight to the bitter end. The fallout stems from a car accident back in November that involved former councilwoman Kayla Rayo. She hit a parked car but walked away with no citation or ticket. Now, News 10's Renee Allen talks with the chief and his fight against the city council of Youngsville. Well, Chief Bujo says the lawsuit he filed here in district court calls on a judge to declare the city council's planned investigation against him null and void. He says he's basing this on the Larson Act, which he contends dictates that the mayor nor city council can investigate him. He says if he's done something wrong, they should reach out to other agencies like the sheriff's office, state police or attorney general. There was enough people that knew about this wreck when it happened in November that for them to take the approach, oh, we never, we didn't know about this. This is horrible. No, it's not horrible. It's, a, it's called an accident for a reason. It's an accident. It's the vehicle accident of Councilwoman Rayo that has put the chief's reputation as an officer of the law in the spotlight. Boudreau beckons the council to prove he pushed for Rayo to be treated differently because she's a member of the city council. I, I find it kind of uh, premature to throw things out there that, oh, I did so bad, so bad, when you said nothing, proved nothing, or even sat down and talked to me. Also, his $1,000 car allowance has been temporarily suspended. The chief says when he started being required to drive to Baton Rouge four to five times per week, he asked for more money and got it. Either I'm going to give up the vehicle allowance and you will have to purchase a unit for me, or we got to change this. Thus far, he acknowledges about $18,000 has been given to him over time. And that's in addition to his $1,000 car stipend. Recently, the council voted to look into how much he's received. The chief regrets taking a handshake on the increase, as opposed to getting something in writing. I, I bought that vehicle for my enjoyment. It wound up in the 2016 flood. Being the lifesaver for us, we're able to get around a little bit better because it sits up higher than any police unit. So I was, I, you know, thought it was a great win for everybody in that uh, until now. Boudreaux says he doesn't take anything personal, but admits the current situation rubs him wrong. I don't own many things. My word and my reputation, the bank owns everything else. So I take pride in that. And so when you attack me personally or you attack those values that I hold dear, I'm going to fight and I'm going to fight to the bitter end. The council asked him to take a leave of absence. He turned that down. He says his job is to serve the citizens of Youngsville, and that's what he plans to do. Renee Allen reporting, Kellefwy News 10.